can <laughs> see in Cirque du Soleil's aquatic masterpiece. Oh, it features our guest host today, Christina Jones, who also recently won a gold medal for synchronized swimming. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Great to How see you. you. Right. Now, we'll get into all that in just a moment, but let's talk about Oh, It's been around for 16 years, and you've been a part of it for the last six years? Six years, yeah. Now, for people who haven't seen the show, can you describe to us what Oh is all about? It's about water, and um, it's, it's a Cirque show, but with an aquatic twist. So mm -hmm. the stage is made of seven lifts, and the stage can go from dry all the way down to 17 feet deep in 90 seconds. So just the stage alone is incredible, and I work with some pretty incredible people as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time I see, and we were talking right yeah. before the show, every time I see, oh, I'm just amazed. Because, like, you know, people will be walking on, take a look. People, will, like, you have these scenes where you see them diving into the water, yeah. and then seconds later it seems people are walking on top of the water, and so the music beautiful. is outstanding standing because you've got that live performance there and it's just amazing now have you always been involved with water and swimming I've, I've always loved swimming back to before I even started competing uh, my parents took me to Disneyland when I was a little girl and all I wanted to do was stay at the hotel in the hotel pool they, could, they <laughs> couldn't keep me at Disneyland I right. just wanted to go yeah, home I want to go to back right. to the pool so then I started competing in synchronized swimming when I was six years old mm -hmm. then I was a competitor for synchronized swimming and then it just the natural progression of my career was to then work for Cirque Fantastic. And you're yeah. from Northern California, mm -hmm. so you'd come down to SoCal often to go to Disneyland. <laughs> right? <laughs> so then when you came here to Las Vegas, it was specifically for the job. But yeah. what did you expect when you were going to come to Vegas? And has it lived up to that expectation? Um, when I moved to Vegas, I expected to stay for nine months. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I guess it lived up to more than what I thought it would be. Vegas, yeah. I now consider my home. And um, I love my job, and I don't plan on leaving anytime soon. How many no, days yeah. a week are you, are you hitting the... The stage. Five days a week, so one ten show a night? Yeah, two shows a two night. Two shows so a night. So a total of ten shows a week. I, and I say one show because it's like it's so much that goes into yeah. that one show. Yeah. Yeah. I only stayed for the one show when I went that <laughs> night, but it's like you do this all over again. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's incredible. And to you, has it become, I mean, at, at some point, does it become a job or do you always find the beauty in it? When um, it, it is a job. However, I think it's probably the most fun job. In addition to what you guys do, <laughs> right. this looks pretty fun too. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it ain't bad, right? <laughs> now, Christine, but, you yeah. have a special over at O for locals. What is it? Well, um, you can get 15% off select shows at the 9:30 time slot. Um, you can go to CirqueDuSoleil.com to get those tickets. Yeah. yeah. In 2008, you did something that most athletes just dream about: compete in the Olympics in Beijing. Can you yeah. tell us that experience? Yeah, I represented the United States in 2008 um, in both the team and the duet events. Wow. Uh, yeah, it was a dream come true, and. Um, it, it's something that I'll always carry with me. Uh, I thought that I was done competing after that until recently. <laughs> but yeah, I'll always remember things like the opening ceremonies and really uh -huh. just sitting in the cafeteria and seeing all of the different athletes from different countries, different sizes, just mm -hmm. walking around and realizing that each one of those athletes is some town's hero. Yes, and yep. to know everyone has their own story and it's just really interesting. And they're all at the top of their game. Yeah, yeah it's so right. inspiring. Yeah. And you can Pinnacle. see the smallest gymnast <laughs> to like the biggest basketball player and I'm just interested in what they eat, the difference, <laughs> and looking at their trays. <laughs> So, see, we're really interested in O2. Yeah, we're going to talk I'm more about it. it. We're glad you're here today and joining us on our trending topics.